Hi and welcome to this tutorial. Here I'm going to show you how to use an Excel macro in order to enter a formula into a cell. As well as how to enter a formula into a range of cells very quickly. So if you'd like to get this workbook that you see here, as well as the macros I'm about to create, head over to teachexcel.com teachexcel.com and you can search for uh, the video tutorial there and download everything. So before I begin, let me show you the shortcuts that we're going to be using. And those are for the VBA window and to view macros. We have Alt F11 and Alt F8. So the goal of uh, this tutorial is to enter a formula here that will calculate the salesman's average sales over two years. So the formula we're trying to do is equals average like that. So this is what we would like to enter with a formula or with a macro and we'd like to also enter into a range very quickly. Now when using a macro in order to enter a formula into a cell it's oftentimes easiest to simply create that formula or that uh, or write out the function in the cell first. So do it in the first cell that you'd like it to be in if you're copying it for a range. Select the formula. Don't select the cell. Double click it and select the actual text. Then hit control C to copy that and when you're done you can go ahead and delete everything in the cell. Now once we have the formula copied that we'd like to write or put into the macro go ahead and hit, hit Alt F11 to get to the macro window or the VBA window and oop, I have a module open from a previous workbook. Go to the left select the workbook that you would like to put the module into Go to the Insert menu, Module, and now we can begin to enter the macro or create the macro. So sub enter formulas. Now what we're going to be using here is the range property, which I've talked about a lot previously. So first I want to enter the formula into one cell, and then we'll enter into multiple cells. So range, open parentheses, quotation. Now select the cell where you would like to put the formula. Here it is D4. Close quote, close parentheses. The next thing is a period. Now we're going to decide what we'd like to do with that range. And we want to input a formula. So type formula. And you can see that it appears right here in this drop down menu. So formula, space, equals, they need to make sure that you have quotation marks around your formula. So quote, now paste that formula that we just copied and close the quotation. If you didn't copy the formula, you can type it in by hand here, but uh, you're more prone to errors if you type it by hand on this screen. So let's go ahead, go back to the uh, spreadsheet, hit Alt F11 to close this window, and Alt F8 to open up the view macros window and let's run the macro and see what happens and you can see it entered the formula exactly how we typed it before so that's how you do that and it's pretty easy to do so let's go ahead now and copy that formula for this entire range so B4 to B7 hit Alt F11 to go back to this window what I'm going to do is simply comment this formula out so we can keep it here and I'm going to enter the next one so we want to enter the formula into range D4 colon D7 so range D4 to D7 means enter into all of these cells right here and what we want to enter is a formula so formula equals quote let's paste back that formula that we typed so it's pretty much exactly the same as um, what we did up here the only difference is the range instead of just being one cell d4 is now d4 to d7 and when we enter it you will notice that everything updates just like it should so Alt F11 to close this Go ahead, delete that. Alt F8 to V4. 
be the macros. Now let's run enter formulas. And there we go, it entered all of the formulas. So let's check to see if the cell is updated. Here we have B4 to C4, here B5 to C5, and as you can see, all of the cells updated. That's because, if we go back, Alt F11 to this window, these cell references are relative. They're not absolute. That means when we enter it into uh, every row below the first row, they automatically update. Now, just entering it into four cells at once doesn't seem like a big deal. But if you have 10,000 formulas that you have to enter, it's, uh, it really makes a big difference to use a macro similar to this to enter all of that in. And if you um, are going to be entering the formula into different columns, but you don't want those to change, you can put absolute references for the columns, simply dollar signs in front of the B and the C. So um, it's exactly like doing absolute and relative cell references in the spreadsheet. And if you didn't want the formula to change at all, you could do dollar signs in front of everything. So that's pretty much um, it for the basics of how you can enter formulas into cells using Excel. Now there is another way to do this I showed you in a different tutorial. It's range.value, but um, for the most part, if you're doing simple formulas, it's not going to matter. So if you'd like to get this worksheet and the macros that you see here, go to teachexcel.com and you can download everything there. That's it for this tutorial.